we've got 66 nations really? as far as I know this week. Wow. I think nearly a 1,000 lifters. Yeah, it's been absolutely huge. And Turkey sending a team as well, which is great to see. Are they new members? Um, I can't remember when Turkey joined the IPF. That looks nice and easy. Three white lights. Now they're starting to get some rhythm going. Yeah. It must be difficult as well opening the session, walking out first. Yeah, I never, I never like to be first lifter. I mean, the nerves are bad enough for your first lift, yeah. but to be first, first cab off the rank. So he's jumped up 15 kilos from his opener. Yeah, his opening lift looked quite good. And uh, this is a huge PB for him already, though, on his second lift. Yeah, so moving into PB territory already. Ooh, that we might have cut that a little me. bit shy. Let's wait and see what the referees say. It yeah. is. He's just cut it a little bit short. Which is a shame because he looked strong. He looked like yeah, the weight wasn't a problem. The weight certainly isn't a problem. And that sometimes happens when you get into that PB territory. Yeah. You're putting a weight on your back you've never handled before. Yeah. You've only put one squad on the board so far. So Ali Gonan from Turkey now, 205. This will be a big PB. He didn't get it on his second attempt. This is his second go at this weight. His opening lift, I'm just trying to recall, his opening lift I don't think looked too bad. I can't remember why he failed his second, whether it was depth. Ah, uh, yeah, he cut it shy. What? Yeah, he was just didn't get deep enough, and he's going to be very borderline mm, there. Yeah, I'm not sure of that one. Hard from so the front view. And yeah, not deep enough. Not yeah, so That's a shame, because he was so strong. So if you're watching this in your living room, we're sitting directly in front of the lifters. The referees obviously have the best vantage point, so sometimes being 83. So Ali Gonan is 105 from Turkey. And he's coming out. You can see we've got the brand new, new spec Eleco benches on the platform. And yeah. not just on the platform, the, the entire warm-up room is being kitted out by Laco with the new spec equipment. Yeah, they look absolutely fantastic. And they don't just look good, they've actually listened to coaches, athletes, everyone involved, and they've created a really fantastic rack. That's a lovely opening lift. See, one of my favorite things about the new rack is the safety rails are slightly narrower. And oh, there's really? a little bit more space between the weight plates and the safety rails now. Oh, I hadn't spotted that, actually. I reckon I'd that's Yes, and you do sometimes, although I think it's a good thing to talk to your handoff man about what you want, Absolutely. you do see sometimes people giving them, you know, a 10-minute instruction course on it, and if you, you can't afford for your setup to be so fragile that only yeah. your coach can do you it for you. You have to be adaptable. Yeah. Ali Gonan from Turkey, 115, so we're into our second round now. Nice. Yeah, that was a good second lift. Right arm just like bit of work. a tiny bit. A little bit of work, but not over the top. So still got some energy in the tank. Martin. Uh, and when you start getting the, all the greens on there, you really get a battle in the deadlifts then. Those extra couple of kilos. So, Sibyl Lanen has actually, yep, only gone the two and a half to 167 and a half. So I think that's a smart move. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I've seen so many times this week people miss out on a gold medal by half a kilo. Ooh. Right arm was a bit slow, oh, but yeah, it, it joined in in the end. But it didn't seem to dip down, so he gets the two whites. Mm -hmm. uh, Left hand referee thought that it dipped. So. If you're watching at home and you're not overly familiar with the rules, the bar can actually come up unevenly. Yeah, there used to be a rule about uneven extension. So Ali Gonan from Turkey now, 245. TC's just getting him to adjust his uh, knee sleeves and socks. Yeah, and that's uh, doing a good job there. So one of the rule changes we've had over the last few years is that they can wear knee sleeves on all the lifts now. 
I think they always could. There was yeah. some diff the difficulty yeah. was that the rules state that if you have socks on, they've got to be pulled up all yeah. the way, but they can't touch the knee sleeve. So there's a little bit of conflict there. Yeah. So I don't really know if I. It's yeah. Those top three positions are going to come down to that last pull. Which is how we like it. That's right, powerlifting. It's nothing better. He's having a pretty good day today. Oh, that's, oh, a bit that's a tough, tough one. Yeah, I'm not sure he's not his knees right out. knee was just a little soft. The left looked okay. And yeah, he gets the two whites. And that right side there, just not quite as tight as it should be. Will Man from Great Yeah, you Britain. can see his knee locked in and locked on their replay. He might not have won the gold medal, but I'll tell you what. He wins the gold medal on technique. He had a lot left on each lift, didn't he? Well, yeah. apart from deadlift. Not in yeah, I think uh, I think he had quite a bit left to tank on his squats and his bench. Now this is a big PB attempt for Ali Gonan. 260. Unusual to see a, a sumo puller in deadlift slippers. Yeah, usually want to get a little bit more footing on the ground. No. Yeah, a little bit too much. Not today, just not quite enough energy left in the tank. And this is where it gets tough because... Well, can't thank you enough for joining us. And of course, it's been a we pleasure. hope your day tomorrow is just as exciting.